Yeah, uh, look, we were really relieved to get through that one. That's probably the most nervous you get before that one to get into the big game. So we're thrilled with the performance we put out there. And look, I think New Zealand performed well today and so did we. So I think it's going to be game on tomorrow. It's two teams that seem to be peaking at the right time, isn't it, in some ways? Yeah, that's right. And that's probably the best we've performed all uh, tournaments so far. So we've got a little bit up the bat in, left in our sleeve for tomorrow's game. But um, look, I think both teams are absolutely hitting the straps at the right time. So. Uh, let's expect another tough game against New Zealand tomorrow. What was you mentioned the word Oh, we weren't happy with our performance, but we knew that they performed really well as well. So I think sometimes you do need that little bit of a, a kick to kickstart you. And today we didn't miss a beat. And look, we made sure that we cut down on our errors, and that's something that we've been working really hard to fix up. Did you mention the word Delhi for team breakfast? <laughs> we haven't mentioned Delhi yet, um, but I'm sure it's in the back of our minds and. That gives us more, I guess, I guess makes us hungrier than anything else. We do remember what that felt like, so we know tomorrow we do not want to have that feeling again. So the girls will be very fired up. Oh, look, I think it was great for us to be able to rest a few people, but also get a couple of people out on court to have a taste again, because, look, our lineup certainly not... Uh, settled at the moment we could play anyone tomorrow so I think that's a really good uh, thing that we have on our side is that everyone's hitting the straps and everyone's performing well for us. Oh look I think we always love playing <laughs> the Kiwis and I think everyone enjoys watching those tussles as well but we knew Jamaica were going to be really tough we did not expect the scoreline that we ended up with um, tonight so look I think it, yeah I just it's going to be one of those torrid battles again tomorrow and I think everyone will enjoy that. Yeah um, but I, I think that was due to the opposition I'm just not sure um, with the two tools in there they thought they might have got more volume and, and uh, I think once we cut that out I think they doubted themselves so I think they sort of um, you know that doubt came in and they couldn't pull it back because Jamaica are actually a classy side and uh, I, I wouldn't have expected that that uh, scoreline actually I just think it was our day yeah I thought England uh, had their opportunities and uh, their passing and everything uh, let them down the ferns capitalized you can't you can't play that sort of a game on the ferns you're going to lose every time if you do the first game is good our second game against Ireland was pretty patchy our next game is good and then we we played against um, um, Malawi and uh, there was probably some seven players that hadn't played against Malawi in the team which is a bit unusual but that was a fact and uh, I didn't. I told them it would be keeping soft, but you actually have to go out and play that to see how frustrating it is, and you can't seem to get a touch on the ball because I never go forward. So, um, but it was a game we still won, and we could just appreciate that game for what it was, and then come out prepared for this one. I thought they might put the two tools on. I've been expecting it for quite a while, but I don't think it worked in their favour. Actually, I think they were too top heavy, and we were able to capitalise on that. Delhi at the team breakfast tomorrow, you know, just to fire them up? Uh, I think the girls have already talked about that and they've got that well and truly in their mind. Um, but in the end, you know, each game's different, so you just never know. Yes, we're prepared for triple overtime if that's what it's all about. Let's hope that God damn it's not. But anyway, <laughs> I think everybody was running out of puff in that. But, uh, you know, but technically, you're going to go out and do our best, and I'm pretty sure that the girls are all fired up for that. So the Ferns England game today, did you think that England just squandered a lot of chances? Yeah, they, they did squander a lot of chances, and they certainly got shut down in the forward end, um, and that was pretty early, and then nothing changed much for them after the changes. Because the matchup tomorrow, it's, it's two experienced lineups who are used to pick match in the It's an intriguing prospect, isn't it? Well, it is, but every time we play each other, it's that. You know, I mean... It, it, history riding netball ferns in Australia it's just fantastic competition and it's what you want to coach to be honest with you regardless win or lose you, you know you want to always be there for that that that's what you you train yourself for and that's what the job entails you to do and uh, yeah there's a lot of um, uh, elation but there can be some heartaches but you've got to take those with it as you go tomorrow, one or two things that are going to be, going to be the telling differences? Yeah, us being in control of our own ball and, the, and, you know, being in control of the ball wins matches. So if we start squandering, we'll pay for it.
and so we have to be mindful that um, you know this opposition tomorrow will be three times stronger than what was there today.